I got nothing to lose, boy. I got no daddy, no mommy. I'm ready to die. Nope, 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 nope. Stop! Are you f***ing I'm pregnant! Record her! She hit me! Petty crimes are something cops have to deal with every day. And since Walmart is a place that gets targeted by shoplifters all the time, it's not at all uncommon for the cops to be seen catching criminals red-handed at Walmart. Justin Ferguson, stop. I'm Detective Franco from the police department. Yes, sir. Put your hands behind your back. Sometimes the criminals are dumb enough to make their situations a whole lot worse. So without further ado, here are some of the craziest times when Walmart shoplifters get arrested. First, we take a look at Donna Clark, who was being watched by the store employees, ripping the tags off kids' clothes and trying to hide them. She clearly wasn't being very subtle, because it didn't take long for the cops to arrive on the scene. Get comfy and grab your popcorn as we dive into it. What's going on? So, we were watching her on camera. Mm -hmm. Snatches the uh, tags off baby clothes and conceals them in their purse. We're getting a price on how much we were having to go around and Miss Clark? How old are you, Miss Clark? 54. Why are you committing petty thefts for? You're 54 years old. I'm not doing this for a grandchild. Say what? For a grandchild of mine. Okay, don't you think you'd feel more accomplished if you actually know, bought these I items know. to give them to them instead yeah. of stealing them? Yeah. I mean, you're committing like teenage thefts. I mean, you're a grown adult. What are you, what are you doing stealing from Walmart? I want to go the cop is quite dumbfounded that the woman is committing stupid crimes at her age. But we guess that's the proof that some people never grow up and start acting like adults. As the investigation goes on, much more incriminating evidence about this woman and her past would come to light. You drive here? Nope. No, how'd you get here? With a friend of mine. You rode you with a friend of yours? They left after you got caught? Or? No, they left after they had to dance some ways to go to on back here. But well, if not, I just get stuck. So you just slide whenever you said you had kids in the car. What? They are in the car. They just spent, you know, I have, they, yeah, they're in the car. That's what I'm saying. I don't want them staying in there that long. Not just sitting out in the parking lot, baby. I mean, I'm sorry. I just So you got. I want to try to get smart. What number was it? 8362. So that's a mystery. You ever been convicted of shoplifting before? As an as an adult, go ahead. Now it doesn't take long for all the holes in this woman's story to start showing, and her inconsistent story of the car she went there in is now raising even more alarm bells about the situation. Can we even believe that her confession about her past offenses is real? The cops are about to find out. Okay, let, me, let me ask you something. Have you ever been to court for shoplifting? Yeah. Have you pled guilty to shoplifting? Uh, theft by taking. Theft by taking, like shoplifting, like you stole from? Yeah, yeah, long time ago. Like, what do you mean long time ago? I mean, like, like years ago, like 10, 20 years ago. 10, 20 years ago. Okay. All right, just think about it real quick. Where'd, where'd you steal from the last time? Uh, you never forgot it's been that long? Yeah, seriously. Okay. You know, I forgot seriously. I mean, I wouldn't know. I'm only 25. The very roughly estimated time frame of her past crimes isn't really helping to clear anything up for the cops. So they'll have to physically go back and check her records. Even though this is creating extra work for the cops, they thankfully don't seem to mind too much. Are you trying to get some free early Christmas shopping done or something? No. It's not funny, man. No, I'm not. I mean, I, no, I agree. It's not funny. I'm coming up with now. I mean, I'm stressed. I'm pressing money. I do work at Popeye's. What Popeye's you work at? I know, too. Huh? Don't go tell me you have employees up in You work on Prince? I don't even go on that side of town. I'm an east side officer. Really? Yeah, I stay on east side. I seen you earlier. Go ahead. Stand for Listen. I'm gonna go to my computer and check out something. Don't leave here, okay? Because if I have to chase you down, I ain't gonna be happy. I ain't gonna go nowhere. Okay. 
Turns out that the lady does in fact have a job, so why she felt the need to shoplift a few insignificant items is a mystery. Maybe it's the thrill of it all that inspires people to commit stupid crimes like this. Or maybe they're audacious enough to think they'll actually get away with it. Ms. Clark, yes. go ahead and send that for me. Turn up a dress behind your back. Me? Yep, you're under arrest. Why? Because you've already been charged and filled, played guilty for shoplifting oh in the past. God. Seriously? Yep. That's why Give me your other hand. I, I know. Give me your other hand. See what shoplifting does for you? Petty crimes, Miss Clark. Go ahead and hand me your other hand. Put your purse down, we'll carry it. Oh my god. Give me more time. Give me more time. Give me more time. Why would we do this? Why why wait, why why are you telling me why am I doing my job? Why are you shoplifting? There is no excuse for shoplifting, okay? The woman is quite surprised when she realizes that she's actually going to be arrested. And like many other criminals, she'll learn that it's no use getting angry at the cops for doing their jobs. And soon, her story would become even more confusing. Oh. Oh. What you got in your hand right here? Nothing. Look what's my change I had. Okay. The sock, what is the sock for? I don't know. Is this one of the socks you stole, or? No, the sock was in my purse. Sock was in your purse? It's not even my purse. Okay. I'm gonna put it back in your purse, okay? Oh my God, really? Yeah. So you're gonna be hard for this location for two years. All right, so for two years, so that's gonna be the whole parking lot from the wing place all the way to Hardy's. We don't wanna see you back. You don't have to worry about it. Carrying around a purse that isn't yours and putting stolen merchandise into it makes absolutely no sense. And it was likely that this woman was trying to dodge responsibility at the last second again. When we find out what's in her purse later on, we understand why. Listen, if you would've, listen, I wanna tell you how this would've went, okay? What? If you wouldn't have had anything on your criminal record as far as shoplifting. I did. Okay, but you said you couldn't remember, so I went back and checked, okay? Right, of course, I, I told you that I was. Okay, so I went back and checked because I wanted to give you the benefit of the doubt. No, I told you I did. Okay, but you also said when you were like 13 or 14, so I wanted I to go back. I remember that. I'm talking okay. about why I was Listen, talking. listen, let me talk. Okay, I gave. I was trying to give you the benefit of the doubt. I went back there and checked your criminal record. If you wouldn't have had nothing on your criminal I record for shoplifting, right, I, I would have just wrote you a ticket and you would have just been barred from here. But because you have already a violation and you pled guilty to shoplifting in 1993 that's how old it is older than i am so 20 24 27 whatever years ago, years ago. Don't say that. sorry i mean I, I can't my hands are tied at this point Oh my God, man. Y'all get with her. A big lesson that criminals learn is that your previous crimes can influence you even years in the future. And being convicted of a crime is something that'll be on your record permanently. This was a nice reality check for her. Sit right here in front of my car, door. You ain't got any d right in here that I need to know about? I don't know what's in there. I told you it's not mine. Well, because you were carrying it with you and you have it in your possession, if there's any d or anything in here, you will be charged for it. I know I got a big old forehead, but stupid ain't written on it. Just stand right here in front of my car and stop moving around. I'm not picking up your quarters. Put them in your pocket. I'll put them in your pocket for you. Here, get the rest of them. Here, drop them. I got them. Here, you put these in your pocket, okay? Just stand right here in front of my car and don't move, okay? Why do you got CO2 in here? You've been using I told you it's not my purse, I'm using hers. I'm using her purse. Well, I mean, it's I'm your possession. Mine. Yeah, I know. The discovery of whippets doesn't bode well for her either. As the cop explains, these little canisters are used as a makeshift way to get high, and it proves that this woman was definitely partaking in activities relating to substances. He actually finds a bag of in her pocketbook right after as well. So this ain't this ain't your this ain't your pocketbook, but my wallet. That's my wallet. It's not my purse. Okay. I got my papers in there when I just got arrested the other day. Okay. When'd you get arrested? What'd you get arrested for the other day? I don't know license. Oh, driving no license? 
Okay. Did you learn your lesson on that one? Oh, yeah. Okay. As long as you learn, that's all that matters, I guess. Well, maybe this shoplifting will get you to stop shoplifting, okay? The excuses just keep coming. And by now, this woman admitted to a recent driving offense as well, proving that she's definitely not learning her lesson. We got to give her credit for one thing, though. At least she isn't resisting and making the investigation harder than it should be. You are flagged in our system as known to sell and use drugs. I've never sold I've Okay. I've never sold them. Okay, so I when I opened up sold. when I opened up your pocketbook, you had no. to fall out of your pocketbook, and no. you're sitting here telling me you don't use it. I don't smoke. I don't smoke. Okay, I don't smoke. are those your pants? Yes. Okay, so that's your pocketbook, correct? So you don't know what is inside your no. pocketbook and what's not inside your pocketbook. Listen, I'm not. No, it's a, I'm borrowed that one. Listen, I listen. I don't. I mean, I'm telling you the okay, truth listen, now about the pocket, okay. about the purse now. I Let me tell you, country. I'm not worried Keep about. Listen, stop talking. I'm not worried about this small amount of little. Okay, this is nothing compared to what I like to get. Okay, I like to get pounds. I like to get ounces. This is nothing. Okay, so I'm not even going to prosecute you for this. Okay, I'm not charging you for this. Okay, this little thing right here, I'm not charging you with that either. Okay, all right, but don't lie to me and say it's not mine when I clearly you saw me just open up your pocketbook and it fell out of your pocketbook. Okay. I haven't lied to you. I was honest with you. I expect the same, okay? The woman can count her lucky stars that the cop is being lenient and not charging her for the possession of and paraphernalia. But we're pretty sure that she's now burnt through all her good graces with the cops. All the cop is asking for is honesty, but whether she'll quit lying remains to be seen. But when you get down to the jail and you pass that guard line, if you get caught with anything, you already know that's a felony, correct? There's nothing I'll be able to help you with, okay? So be honest with me because you obviously wasn't all, you wasn't honest with me. I, I didn't know that was in that series. Okay. Okay. Okay, but my thing is though. So you ain't got nothing on you, okay? No. Okay. Well, that was your warning to tell me. So you taking the purse down now also? Yep. Oh. I still need to stop by my car and let this girl know that I'm interested. Well, she'll figure it out. I don't want to. That's not that's not her car. Well. All right, stand right in front of my car for me, okay? I'm gonna pat you down. Make sure you ain't got anything on you. Stand right here. You got anything in your pockets? Like I just said, you got a bunch of change, is that it? And a lighter, okay. All of a sudden, she changes her story again, claiming she has a car in the parking lot, and now she wants to handle this before going to jail. The cops are being very helpful and understanding, and hopefully this gets the woman to change her actions a bit. That's my car right there. That blue car. What blue car? That blue car sitting right there. So oh, over there by the buggies? Yeah. Oh. Did you tell her? She don't know anything. She don't know anything. And I need for her to take that car and park it at my house. Yeah, I'll tell her. Is she in the car? Yeah, she's in the car. Hey! Hey! Ma'am! Ma'am, you want your window down? Miss Donna Clark said to take her car and put it at her place. She's been arrested for shoplifting. Okay. Got it? The woman in Donna Clark's car takes an obnoxiously long time to respond to the officer's request, so much so that even we're getting annoyed. The patience of this officer is quite admirable, but we can imagine his growing level of frustration. Hold on a minute. Let me grab your other shoe. Ouch. Here, just throw that leg over this way. Did I get some help, please? 
I know it's a little tight. I know you ain't. I just can't get out. You ready? Yeah. You got oh. it? Oh, no. All right. I have a bad knee. All right, on count of three, okay? One. Let's go slow. Two. Uh. Three. Come on, honey. Uh. Uh. There you go. There you go. Home free. Look at that. Finally, the woman arrives at the police station, and after some help getting up, she can now be processed and charged for her offenses. This shoplifting attempt went very wrong, and this woman is definitely wishing she'd stayed on the right side of the law right about now. She was charged with theft by shoplifting and barred from the Walmart for two years. Shoplifting is clearly addictive, since some people seem to get hooked on it and try their luck with shoplifting sprees. On the 1st of October, a cop noticed a man he'd recently dealt with who had a signed arrest warrant on his name in a local Lowe's. Due to technical waiting protocol, the cop couldn't make an immediate arrest and followed the suspect to Walmart, where lo and behold, he would try his luck again. We're not stopping him until he gets out. Justin Ferguson, stop. I'm Detective Franco from the police department. Yes, sir. Put your hands behind your back. Six nine central, I'm in custody. Stand up. You're under arrest for shoplifting. Yes, sir. I'm diabetic, I might have a needle in here. Hey, look, I found the receipt he's going to use to do a return later. You got warrants from the other day for doing this, too. Oh, look, another receipt. You got anything else on you? Within seconds of leaving the Walmart exit, the man is placed in cuffs. His modus operandi? This consisted of two parts. First, he steals a cache of items from Walmart, and then he tries to double up and make a fraudulent return of the stolen merchandise. He thought he was too clever to get caught, but soon realized that you should never underestimate the cops. Do you still have those barrings forms, Emily? I don't have any more. All right, that's fine. Just you can tell him he's barred for two years? Yeah, you're barred for two years. I'll come back on this property. Yet. You understand you're barred from Walmart for two years? Hey. No, you can come in. And uh, I just, are you still there? I just signed warrants on him earlier, but magistrate court wouldn't walk him down to the sheriff's office for me. So I saw him at Lowe's and couldn't do anything because magistrate court didn't want to help. Um, so he's going to jail for this shoplifting because he just did it two days ago here. All right, thank you. The delay issues with the magistrate court did give this man a bit of extra time, but like a true idiot, he used this time to try and commit more crimes. By this point, this guy'd racked up a list of offenses so extensive that there was no possibility he'd squeeze loose. Central, change this to a shoplifting. I don't need a criminal history. I ran it the other day. So you don't think you have anything else on you as far as you know? I don't have anything else. In there. Yeah, Deckard is. He's got the warrant for the one from the other day, but in the car, as soon as another officer gets here, I'm going to go look, talk to her. So Justin's girlfriend was still waiting outside in the car for him, and the next mission for the cop was to go talk to her. Either she was complicit or she was being blindsided by Justin, but it may very well be in her best interest to not involve herself with this repeat criminal. Hey, Justin is being arrested for shoplifting. Caught him live. What's your name? Uh, are you, who are you to him? I'm his girlfriend. Senator, I'm out with Ann. What's your date of birth? 93. 93. Do you have a license? Three. Where'd y'all get all this weed and stuff? Uh, that was before the stolen. We got our stuff back from our landlord. The landlord stole it? Yeah. He stole well, it. he's going to jail for today, and he also, I just caught him live, and uh, he did this two days ago, and he's got a warrant for that, and a warrant for theft by deception as well.
The chat with Anna gives us a better idea of the situation, but at the end of the day, there's no excuse for committing crimes, and Justin would now have to go to the police station and be processed for all the charges he's been avoiding. I'm clear. Central, she's going on her way. She was just sitting out in the vehicle. That's mine. Show Ferguson Bart from the Walmart Shopping Center for Cheers. I think I told him that. Oh, my bad. Just, take, just take him. I'm doing the ABR. Um, would you print it out when you get there? Sometimes my printer won't work. Yeah. So uh, I'll take the report and everything if you'll just drive him for me. Um, do you want to switch out cuffs? Uh, sure. Or I can meet you after either one. Uh, get up. Let me see if I did it right. I put them. Oh, yeah. I did them down so you can put yours over the top. After sorting out the last minor details, the cops were finally able to carry on transporting Justin away from the Walmart where he'd stolen multiple times before. He was barred for two years, and although his fraud refund scheme was inventive, it would land him in much more trouble. No, we won't go to court today, but you'll have a bond. You don't, you'll see a judge tomorrow, it's the latest. See a judge every day. Huh? I mean, they're not going to put you on probation right away, but you're already on probation, right? Yes, sir. So you're going to have to deal with your probation officer. Yes, sir. But I've already notified them about the warrants I took this morning, so. Yes, sir. Thank you. No, you don't have a probation warrant yet, so you, you can get out. You have a bond. Well, the judge, this is Athens, they'll probably just let you out and apologize for you getting arrested, so. Like I said, they... I mean, honestly, man, they'll probably OR you or something. The man would now face the consequences of messing up his probation, but as the cop reassures him, he'll probably be processed and out of there before too long. Hopefully, this will inspire him to stop committing crime. The total he stole from this store today was $145.86. So what happens is we see you right, in that well, system, and, huh? oh, oh, okay. we see you into that system. That's why you have this camera right here. Your picture is going to every Walmart everywhere. China. You go into a Walmart again, they're going to be able to China. China. Yeah. He's not going to China, Jamie. Uh, just trying to get the point across. Alright, let's keep going. It is going to China because there's a Walmart in China. I said he's not going to China. <laughs> it is going to China because there's a Walmart in China. I said he's not. Yeah, Walmart has cameras everywhere. It's explained to the man that he will not be able to go to any Walmart, not even ones on a different continent. If you ask us, this is still coming off pretty lightly. We hope this guy gets a good last look at the Walmart as the cops transport him out, since he won't be seeing the inside of one for a long time. The man's outstanding warrants were theft by shoplifting and theft by deception. He was charged with a criminal trespass warning and barred from the store for two years. Up next, we have a 21-year-old shoplifter who got herself into more trouble than she knew how to handle. It was the 11th of August, 2022, when the athens Clark County Department were called to a Walmart for a shoplifting case. And while originally there were two people shoplifting, one had already taken off, leaving the suspect in question to face the consequences. Let's see what happens. How you doing? What's going on today? What's your name? Do what? Okay, well here's the problem. You've been caught shoplifting and changing prices on, on items. That's a crime. So right now we're investigating a crime. So your options are identifying yourself to me. And we're not going to do that right now. Because right now I'm investigating, so let's just not do the phone, okay? So we can do this one of two ways. You can tell me who you are. We can sort this out. If this is your first offense, you'll get you'll get a citation and you'll get to leave here today, but you'll be barred. And you'll have to appear in court. Or if you have a history of shoplifting, you'll wind up going to jail. Okay? Because I can't release you on a citation. If you don't tell me your name, 
and I have to book you into jail as a Jane Doe, do you know how many warrants are out there for Jane Doe? You could sit in jail for a long, long time. Refusing to give the police officers your information is definitely not the right way to get you out of trouble. And if the woman wanted to go home so badly, she should have paid for her shopping haul instead of acting like a thief. She actually went to ridiculous lengths to pull off the shoplifting stunt, and her plans are soon about to unravel. So let's try and let's try and sort this out. Have you have you ever been arrested for shoplifting before? Have you ever been arrested for shoplifting? <laughs> Where? In Banks County. In Banks County. That's all? Do you have any current charges on you right now? Okay. Temple. Alright, so, so, we might be able to work with that. But I have to know who you are first, okay? No, maybe not. Maybe not. We'll, we'll find out. Where's your ID, sweetheart? What's your name? Huh? Mandy what? Maddie. Hmm? Maddie. Maddie. Maddie? M-A-D-D? Finally, she gives her name to the officers, and now they can perform proper checks on her. At last, there's some progress. But even though she's already caught red-handed, she's not being honest with the cops about the extent of her shoplifting, and they'll have to find this out for themselves. You've only been shop charged with shoplifting one time? And that was that, that piece of chicken? How long ago was that? Two years ago? Okay. I'm just not going to court for it this month. This month? Yeah. Okay, so you got a pending charge of, of shopping. All right. And that was the Walmart up there in Banks County at Banks Crossing? Mm. We're going to have to see, okay? She was pregnant at the time. She was talking to her. And I, didn't, I wouldn't even know when I was out. I told him, I said, no. And he was like, come on, it's really good. Just try it. And he finished. Okay, so what's going on today? What we got going on today? <laughs> you and your friend are in here changing price tags and and shoplifting. I know. Look, everybody has a uh, has hard times. I understand that. I've been doing this job for 24 years. I understand everybody goes through some difficult situations. Being arrested for eating a piece of chicken is just crazy. And even taking pregnancy crazings into account, it surely can't be that hard to pay for your food before you eat it. Everyone else has to do it, right? You've been uh, you've been cooperative with me by giving me your name and stuff, but you aren't very cooperative with them. And that might change their mind. Uh, that, that, that might change Miss Emily's mind about what she wants to do, okay? Let me get back at it real quick. Okay. So that might, that might change their mind as to far as what they want to do. But it might be one of those cases where, you know, we can just write you a ticket and you gotta come to court. And you just get barred from this Walmart. Let me look something up. So there's one factor that I can determine. Um, let's see, what is it? I can determine the price. If it's not far over my price point, I can, we can talk about it. Another point is, if you're already in our system, I can't let you go. That, that's per Walmart. The fate of this young woman now hangs in the balance of what Walmart decides to do and whether she has a previous record. And the way things are going right now, it's safe to assume that today she won't be getting off lightly. All right, let's not, let's not vape in here, okay? The sweet, those sweet vapes make me sick, okay? But it's guilty by association. So if you're with him and you don't stop him, it makes you know. just as guilty. Well, yeah. I didn't think it was that. I wasn't saying all of you were not a chicken. 
So when y'all are checking out and there's a bunch of farmers, yeah, she's already in their system from Bikes County. Yeah. Yeah. And she's, she's got one pending. She's supposed to go to court. As if the woman's soppy behavior isn't bad enough, she then starts vaping, which is clearly a big no-no for the officer. Her other shoplifting charge is worsening her chances of being let go, and it's super satisfying to see entitled shoplifters get the karma they deserve. She come here by herself or she? Her, her partner got gone before they could get him stopped, and Emily's here by herself. But if there's all their she can get the stuff she did buy to them, be All right. And this is the stuff she did buy? The stuff that's bagged right here? Yeah. Is your friend still in the parking lot? Maddie, is your friend still in the parking lot? So we can give her your, the stuff that you did pay for? It's not after refunded. And, and I need, I'll need your card. And then all she will wind up facing is, is a potential barring. Is that... And then they're not even gonna do that. She just comes up if she just comes up here and picks up your stuff. Okay. Okay. So if you if she'll come up here and pick up your stuff, then that'll be fine. Yeah, tell her I'll be her at the grocery door. The authorities are nice enough to have the woman's friend come and get the stuff she actually did pay for. And as soon as she arrives, the woman would be taken to the police car and the investigation could continue. This is where it gets really juicy, though. So are these pants there? No, these are mine. I swear to God, I have, I have uh, uh, Why do you have two pairs? Why do you have a jean pair of pants on and then these? I don't know why So if we go back and look at cameras, you're going to be walking in with jean shorts or these? No, I swear to God, these, I have both of these on. Okay, well, let's... Are these, are these something that y'all sell? Because she's got two pairs of shorts on, a pair of jean shorts, and then there's nylons. Alright. You see where I'm coming from though, that doesn't make sense. I know, trust me, I know what you're talking about, but I swear to God on everything. Yeah. I love. Another phone? Yeah. Oh, it's broke. Where is she? Oh, no, she's not going to get it. No one forgets that they're already wearing pants, so there's no doubt that this woman was trying to shoplift. Wearing the stolen clothes, instead of stuffing them in a bag, is a more unique approach. But it's clearly not enough to fool the cops. These pants are stolen, so the shorts are stolen. No, I swear to God. The jean shorts are stolen because the tag's still on them. Oh my God, no. And, and another pair of shorts that you're wearing. One of the shorts I had on, and the other one. Okay, so which ones are stolen? All three, two of them. All right, it's all on you. Here it is. Here's okay. the third song. What do you think? Step out of those. She has three pair on. Uh, yeah, two of them were mine. Uh, huh? Yeah, that one does. Two of them were mine. These ones are here. Okay, well, none of them no. except for the, maybe the black ones because these also have tags on them. So do you have another pair on under this? Yeah, I do. Wait, no. No, you don't. So these right here, I got this whenever I was shopping. I guess I forgot to take that tag off. And then I picked those over. Okay, that's, we're not going to keep going with the lies. That's not necessary. The officers aren't buying her story for one second, and we don't blame them. Little did they know that they aren't even at the bottom of everything she tried to steal. Truly, there's never a dull moment in the life of cops. It's really scary to have to go to jail for shoplifting too, but here we are. Who is uh, Brandon Allen? Are these bras stolen too? Brandon Allen's your boyfriend. All right. Devin, Devin Baker was your ex fiance. Is this tank top stolen? The white one? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. We'll get that back too. Just give it all. Who is, uh, who's Susan Bailey? And Yolanda Lemke? I also have her on video, like, trying all of these on every single one of them. Yeah, so a, to... a, bunch, a bunch of them are gift okay. cards. So. Alright, come with me. Have a seat for me. Would you do me a favor let me try to call her again on the phone? We'll, we'll try, but... Have a seat. After finding layers of stolen clothing on the woman, it seems like things can't get much worse. 
Then, the officers find a stash of stolen debit and credit cards in her pockets as well, and she was caught on camera trying to use them. This woman's criminal ways have caught up to her, with a total of $94.30 worth of stolen merchandise on her person. No official details have been released, but she was definitely facing a shoplifting charge. Self-checkout stations at Walmart have been one of the most popular inventions. But even though this has simplified the shopping experience for many, it's also made it harder to keep track of shoplifters. In a South Florida Walmart, asset protection officers were doing routine monitoring of the self-checkout stations when they noticed a man trying to exploit the system and make a getaway with some free items. While the officer and the Walmart employee were going over the footage, the man in question already starts to protest, which in all honesty does not bode well for him. When will criminals learn that it's far better to keep your mouth shut and not cause a scene? No, I don't want to die. What did I pay for? No, no, wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait,
Asking to buy the merchandise you've already been caught stealing is like asking for permission after stealing someone's phone. It's way too late. The suspect tries to act the fool and get off on a technicality, but today he would learn a valuable lesson on not trying to abuse the self-checkout service. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I already took it. No disrespect, but I, took it. I have the right right. to record. If she's accusing me of not paying for everything, what I'm seeing is that you didn't pay for it. I'm telling you, I, I'm not saying it. If they were wrong, I'll, I've been telling you they were wrong. If I'm wrong too, I'm gonna lose my job for that. Ma'am, trust me. I'm a tr never mind. Just let me just okay, okay. Just sit down, relax. You're making it worse. I'm not making nothing worse. Just officer. relax. I'm being cool with you. Relax. Okay, okay, okay. Relax. Relax. So Please. I'm just let's just see the video. I'm not gonna like. Yeah. Man, we ain't gotta just now. Just let me. Just let me go. Just whatever you gotta do, but. Now we understand this is not a nice situation, but getting rowdy and loud is definitely the last thing this man should be doing. Thankfully, this appears to be the man's first offense. So if he behaves, he likely won't be going to jail today. And then they're, they're not going to trespass you from Walmart or anything like that. You just got to leave for today. You can come back in like 24 no, it's hours. Not, it's not, it's not. Talking to that lady. But you can come back like after 20, what is it, 24 hours? Why I just can't pay for the pants now? Cause I need them they now. Can't. No, you can go to another Walmart if you want to this one. They don't have it. That's why I'm here. Yeah, unfortunately, they don't work like that. This is such an embarrassment. He doesn't even get a permanent ban from Walmart, but he will not be getting the pants he searched far and wide for either. After the tension settles a little bit, the conversation steers more in the direction that every American loves, the game. NFL scores. Currently, the Panthers are leading the Cardinals 20-0 in the second quarter. Green Bay 3-0. 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 You saw what I'm talking about? I'm looking now. I don't, I don't have my phone. This I don't sweat it. Oh, Detroit Steelers. They, yeah. they tied. Yeah, 16-16. In overtime. Detroit. Yeah. It was a... End of a winning streak and the end of a losing streak. Washington beat Tampa Bay. That's a shame. Yeah, it is because I needed um you got me? Oh I needed um what you call it? Yeah, because this ain't no picture. To um I needed um what you call it to lose. Because I'm a Giants fan. And I need Washington to lose and I need it. Football is a huge part of American culture. Before too long, it was time to get back to the business at hand and finish processing this man's shoplifting offense, although the man would not be too happy about it. First, I need you to sign yeah, yeah. both X's. One is for you, one for me. All right? Now, like I said before, you are agree you're agreeing to go in front of a judge on December 21st, 2021 at 8.30 in the morning. I always go one hour early because normally it's 9.30. But always put 8:30 so you don't you don't lose it, and then you get a warrant under your name. Room 2:30 at the South Regional Satellite Courthouse. How is that? 3550 Hollywood Boulevard, Hollywood, Florida 33021. Okay. Okay. Failing to go. One right here. Failing to go. All right. They're gonna have a warrant under your name, and you don't want that. All right. I don't have a warrant. All right. Plus. So Is you it? could take your pay items and the receipt. Those are his, those are right? Yeah, that's right. With the subpoena being explained to the man, he would now be free to leave with the things he actually did purchase. Whether he would actually make it to his court appearance is something that only time will reveal. I'm supposed to have two of these. Okay, but you said only one. Ma'am, you, see, it's only you one. see two right there. Sir, you have six items over there. Ma'am, you see two right here. What okay, you but you only have six items. I don't know what you're thinking for, but you only have six items. Right, no problem. Ma'am, I'm not going to argue with you. Go to the service. All right, that's it? Yes, sir. You take care of yourself. Okay, take, take it easy. All right, young man. Have a good one. We'll see you next time. Oh, shit.
Under better circumstances. And let me get that door for you. Under better circumstances. At the last minute before leaving, the man decides to complain about more of his items not being correct. And it seems like this shopping trip was quite disastrous. The man was able to leave with only a notice to appear in court. One way or another, shoplifters always get caught. But our next case proves that criminals often way overestimate their luck. Police were called to a local Walmart when two repeat offenders were caught in the act of bagging multiple items they did not pay for. On a previous shoplifting trip, they managed to get away with $1,200 worth of items. And today would be the day that they finally meet their fate. All right, go ahead and put your hands behind your back. See? Yeah. What did I do? Put your hands behind your back. What happened? Put your hands behind your back. Palms together like you're praying. Awesome. Come here. Come here. Turn around. Hands behind your back. Put behind your back. Put your palms together like you're praying. Grab my purse off the earth. Again, you listen to me. You listen to me, not her. Yeah, we're going to go in the office and I'll let you know. Okay. Walk all the way to the end. Do not walk too fast. I'm pregnant. All in behind him. Alright, nope, stand up, stand up, face the wall. You got any weapons on you, anything? Alright, wait. Because you're pregnant, I'm going to swap these cuffs to the front. Police officers often get a bad rap, but this officer was actually being very accommodating and changed the handcuffs on the supposedly pregnant shoplifter to the front. This would turn out to be a grave mistake, and the officer would soon come to regret being nice to these shoplifters. You guys almost hit me earlier, right? You saw me. Right. But you saw me, right? So you knew I was in the store, right? Okay. You also realize that there's thousands of cameras throughout this entire store, correct? Okay. So, let's play devil's advocate. How smart is it to bag items without purchasing them, and then putting them in a cart, concealing them, without paying for them. You talking about the house shoes? In general, any merchandise. That's it. Right, because we stopped you guys. But, but I'm, I'm asking you a question. Is it smart to do that? No. You but saw me. I told her you also to saw put me. them in the front because I didn't purchase them, but I have money to buy everything in that cart. Okay, well, here's the other problem. We also have you guys from another incident with your photos where you guys were not stopped because you guys pushed out before they were able to make contact with you. So at this point today, you both are gonna be trespassed from Walmart nationwide. We can't even fathom the stupidity of trying to shoplift when you know for a fact that there are cops in the store. The two suspects now earn themselves a national ban from Walmart. But believe it or not, this is not even the peak of stupidity that these women would reach. If they open one on Mars, you can't go to Mars and go to that Walmart either. We have facial recognition. I work this one and I also work 62. If you show up at either one of my Walmarts, I will immediately arrest you and charge you for both theft and I will also charge you for trespassing. You both have IDs. What's your first name, ma'am? Alright. What's your first name? Michaela. It was almost twelve hundred dollars last time, wasn't it? Easily a felony that I can still file warrants on. When the news breaks that the women can easily be charged with a felony, they become increasingly nervous. And even though they've been avoiding the law for a long time, they would not be getting out of this situation today. Justice always prevails. And unfortunately, these shoplifters would end up making things much worse for themselves. Just because we don't get you the first time doesn't mean you won't get you the second time, or the third time, or the fourth time. But the time that you guys spend doing all this nonsense, you guys could be putting application in somewhere for jobs and stuff. You can still work. We have plenty of people that work here at Walmart that are on SSI. The officer proceeds to give the women some valuable advice that could very well help them turn their lives around. 
You can always choose between getting a job and earning an honest living and committing crimes. And as the second woman learns, there's no reason why she can't find work and be a useful member of society. But before much else happens, all hell breaks loose. Nope, 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 nope. Stop! You're gonna get pepper spray! Are you joking? What no, the I can't go to the bathroom. I can't go to Don't do it to me. Please don't take me. Hey, go get my radio. Please don't take me. Get the on the ground. The no, I'm you. pregnant. I'm pregnant. You record her. Record her. She hit me. Record her. Cause I'm pregnant and I can't breathe. Get your f***ing hands behind your back! Get your hands behind your f***ing back! I will once you put donuts in my head, I can't breathe. Get your hands behind your back! Please. Get your f***ing hands behind your back! Instead of facing the consequences of her actions like an adult, the pregnant woman decides to make a run for it, stupidly thinking that she'll be able to outrun a trained cop. This goes about as well as we would expect, and before long, she's tackled to the ground with the help of a Walmart employee. Now she's angered the police as well. I can't yeah. breathe, and I'm pregnant. All right, well, get your arm out from underneath Let me get to the, let me turn no. up to my thigh. No, get your arm out from underneath you. Get your arm out. Let me turn to my thigh. Get your arm out, and we'll turn you to your side. Why can't you listen? You have issues. I can't listen. breathe. Yes, I can, because she asked me for assistance. She asked me for assistance. Please. Yes, I can. I got people surrounding me. Please. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. An officer asked for assistance. I can't breathe, and I'm pregnant! This is just about the worst time to try and act like the victim, and this woman is now way past the point of sympathy. Instead, her dramatic cries and shouts just annoy everyone, especially the officers. By running, the woman turned her shoplifting case into a much more serious offense, and she had no one to blame but herself. He's okay. Dude, get the arm. Like, listen, is it that hard? No, I just, I can't breathe on my stomach. Get off of me. Shut the f up. Get off of me. <laughs> Take this. You got my arm. 262. One in custody. You can slow the other medics down. The other units down. Respond medics. Get the f up. Here's an idea. If you don't want to go to jail, maybe don't make a habit out of shoplifting. What do you think? Was the officer's reaction justified? The officers flagged down a medical unit to ensure she would not claim that she was denied care. But no doubt, her next stop was going to be the jailhouse. Are you okay? She's pregnant. Are you okay? She yeah. slipped, uh, come here, she slipped her cuff or didn't get one cuff on. Again? I want to go to my kids. Turn around. Turn. Turn. Turn around. Are you all right? Turn that way. Turn. Turn that yeah. Way. We got to the ground and she just immediately. I just want to go to my kids. That's not happening. Even when the cops are trying to get up to speed on everything that happened, the incessant complaints of the woman can be heard drowning everything else out. The cops would soon learn that the woman has a history of multiple violent offenses, and she just does not seem to be learning her lesson. Get off of me! Just get off of me! Meg, get off of me! Ma'am, you're going to jail. Stop. Stop. You're going to jail. Get off me, It's about when it comes, I want to be able to go. Watch your foot. What you doing? Just take her to the hospital. Okay. Getting her into that yeah. is going to be a fight. Yeah. So just take her to home and I'll let them know. I'll let them know. We'll fall you out there, dude. All right. What happened? I had her cuffed and she told me she was pregnant, so I cuffed her in the front. Did you cuff her out here? No, in there. She was oh, in she's in the office. Oh, she's getting escaped all day. Okay. But I had her cuffed in the front. I had her other friend here. All they wanted to do was just 
been tra- trespassing. So, run her, she's got warrants. She wants to go. She's got to go. I told her friend, I'm sitting there at the desk, I said, you can go, grab it, and go. She slips her cuff and gone. Fucking come out here and I tap her to the ground. I want 30 minutes. Okay. She is pregnant, I guess, apparently. I don't being cuffed in the front gave the woman the perfect opportunity to slip her handcuffs. And thanks to her dumb actions, the cops will now be much less likely to give any shoplifters the benefit of the doubt. This case took a turn for the worse and caused the cops much more trouble than was necessary. But thankfully, backup was there, and the woman had no choice but to comply. While her accomplice was allowed to leave, this woman was charged with felony escape and resisting arrest. She additionally received three years of probation. Shoplifters don't always try and just walk out with items. Sometimes they try clever tricks that they think will keep them flying under the radar. On October 5th, 2023, a woman was caught ringing her items at a local Walmart by scanning much cheaper tags. The store employees called the police, who swiftly showed up to apprehend the woman. But like I said, there was three of them that I just didn't understand. I really didn't. I was in a rush. I didn't understand you couldn't stand them right then. No, I don't want to park. Okay, well, we're in the outside. Go ahead. Did you drink her? Oh, my God. Courtney. Yeah, I, I, I'm normally like a person that's like, if y'all are shopping, I don't want anything. I don't even know why. You said your boyfriend dropped you off? Uh-huh. You said your boyfriend dropped you off? No, he's waiting. How come he didn't come inside with you? Huh? How come he didn't come inside with you? Because he said he didn't feel like going to Walmart with me. I don't blame him. Yeah, I mean, I kind of told him, I was like, I'm going to probably shop a little bit. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to lie, I smoked a this morning. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I barely ever do. Sorry. I'm not saying. My daughter takes a drop step or... Your best interest is stop talking. Fake excuses, like being in a rush, never work on the cops. And before too long, the woman begins admitting incriminating details that she definitely should have just stayed quiet about. This bad first impression is certainly an accurate representation of what's to come. So be sure to get comfy and stay tuned for what happens next. This is actually what caught my eye. So as this is going on, she starts pulling stuff out of the buggy, I guess, to get ready to scan it. And this, these items right here, watch these items very carefully. And watch what she does with it. See how she pushes it against her hand to ring it? Mm-hmm. While the other item, which I think is like eyeliner, um, sharpeners or whatever. Didn't it get scanned? Up, right. It was like she put it on the opposite side of it. So the total is 29? Yeah, it's 29. Okay. Um, that was an infant's. He told me to show you the most, the majority of things because the price of the panties that she took in infants was like 22 cents. Okay. And then the necklaces, I don't think we got a price on those. Maybe we did. Judging by the footage, this woman was clearly working with a plan in mind so she could try and get away with multiple free items. Maybe she failed to realize she was being watched by high-tech cameras. And the fact that she didn't even consider this proves that her plan wasn't that smart after all. I was dead ass wrong. I didn't plan on coming here doing any of that. Um, I've really been struggling. I going through a mental thing. I don't know what kind of even I've been doing sober. I mean, like the last couple of weeks I've been I've just been not doing it. So anyways, I came in, was looking for different stuff. I mean I might have been lolly I'm sorry, I don't know. Um I I might have been looking for different stuff and I might look a little erotic, you know what I'm saying, in my mind. Um, I literally, the stuff I was, there was a couple of things on there I did scan. The woman does look erratic indeed, and we have this growing suspicion that there's more to her strange and criminal behavior. The first task at hand is to get to the bottom of her shoplifting offense, and so far, things are not looking good for her. I'm not worried about the stuff that you just scanned, I'm talking about the stuff that you didn't scan. Well, did you have money to pay for everything? I, I mean, is there no question? No, not really. So you don't have money to pay for everything. Is that why you start scanning things incorrectly? Okay. Not, not. Yes, yes, yes. That's not, I just. 
I appreciate you just being truthful, okay? We're going to get so much further if you're just being truthful. Yes, I'm sorry. You're fine. Do you need um, so, prior to 32 back in 2014 for a grand theft. We're going to jail. So, did you write an answer? Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. Do you take a seat. I have to go to I never uh, did nothing. So, yeah, I'm going to have to do a physical. I, I will not take any. I never will find my girl. That's I'm going to jail. Hmm? I'm going to jail. Alright. So, Corey, at this time, I'm actually to stand up. Alright, it's not our choice. So just go ahead and stand up and I'll explain everything to you once you stand up. It's don't make this up. Okay. Turn around. Okay. At least she finally owns up to what she knowingly did, and the cops were able to take the next step and put her in handcuffs. Situations like these, where criminals are under the influence of some substance, can become very dangerous. So the cops were definitely holding a nervous breath, hoping that she doesn't start freaking out. So, unfortunately, the thing is that you have a previous theft conviction back in 2014. And no, we thought that, and it, my boyfriend pled that he did do it. Okay. So you have a previous theft conviction from 2014 in, in Lake County. That I never stole, though. Can I finish speaking? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So what was the disposition of that case? Um, that he, they dropped my case because he was actually the one, the prints that were caught on there. Okay. It's so really hurt right here. Right, you have enough, I can see from here you have enough space. You know what I'm saying? My arm is broke. It's, it's bone. There's, it's broken in six places. Okay. Where's your cast at? Um, no, I grew that. Like, that was supposed to have... Pins and rods, but it, you, you're, you're literally moving it up, like, up and down. So okay. stop moving your wrist and stop hurting. So you have a previous theft conviction from Lake County for a grand theft of more uh, more than three hundred, less than five thousand dollars. There was a guilty conviction on that one. The woman can't deny the previous charges on her record, but now she's even trying to spin the cops the stupidest story we've ever heard. No person who has their arm broken in six places looks like this. And we can't believe the audacity that she thought the cops would actually believe her ridiculous story. I just looked at that case that you said that your boyfriend yeah. took the rap on. You had your, it was your own separate case in Lake County. Right, it's a grand, listen, it was a grand theft. Yeah. He went into my old boss's house and stole. Okay. Well, at the time I didn't give his name up, I asked him, I said, look, if you're a man, you're going to come up here and, you know, take full of Okay. I was a joke, not not a thief, not none of that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yes, they. I have. Let me ask you, what are you on right now? Because that's what you're on right now is not weed. Um, are you on anything else? I mean, I've been prescribed. When is the last time you took it? This isn't gonna get you the way that you are yeah, right now. No, no, no. What I'm saying, no, no, no. I am. Uh, it kind of makes me almost like hyper Okay. Um, so do you, no, no. Do you use anything else? No, no, no. The suspect's cover story has now completely fallen apart. And after having a brief interaction with her, the officer is convinced that she's currently under the influence. Maybe this explains why she thought her idiotic stories would be a good idea. Follow the tip of my finger. I'm just trying to see what's going on with your pupils, because your pupils are like that, are pinpointed, right? You have a little bit of nystagmus in your eyes. I'm just trying to figure, nystagmus is when you look a certain way and you hold it there, your eye starts bouncing for no reason. You got any sort of brain injury? I do. Okay, everybody does. I just was at the beginning of the year. Okay. Lord, Lord, Lord. Oh, are you good? Um, people left it, right? Man. The it's clear to everyone that she's not in her right state of mind, and even the cops are now beginning to tire of her antics. Now that she's being taken to jail, the woman requested to leave her car keys with her boyfriend, who was waiting outside, but she simply walks herself into another clear web of lies. So listen to the question I'm asking you. So you have the keys to your car. Yes or no? Uh, yeah, well, okay. yeah. It's, so it's you, our friend's car, yes. Okay. So you have the keys to the car. Your boyfriend's in the car with no keys. Well, no, I just don't want... That's I mean, that's not what I'm asking you. What I'm I asking... I didn't want him to take off of my car. I thought it was your friend's car. Take off of my friend's car, right. My arm, my arm mutual friend 
I did not want him to take off with his car. Okay. Well, because here, here's the thing. Sometimes guys, I dig black men. They don't care. You know what I mean? And so they might leave you. Especially if you're taking them. How long have you guys been together? Time for a new board. Yeah. The more we learn about this woman, the more clear it becomes that she's quite a mess at the moment. And we can only hope that being arrested would be some sort of a wake-up call for her. She also can't seem to stop spouting things that are personal and have nothing to do with the investigation, making us all cringe a bit. We're going to take a walk to my car to the left. What kind of car is he in? Um... Uh, I want to, he's, uh, he can tell you better than I can right now. I'm, I'm freaking out. So, what kind of car? You don't know? Uh, oh, it's a, yeah, 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 it's a Nissan. Um, Nissan, okay. Uh, what color is it? Um, gray and black. Gray and black. Is it a car or, no. Is it a car? Is it an SUV? Uh, car. I, it was like in the middle. Okay. Take a seat. Ow. Yeah, careful. Oh. In her frazzled state, it's difficult for the cop to get any useful information out of her. And by the time she gets into the cop car, we're pretty sure the officers can't wait for this to be over. Now the officer simply needed to leave the car keys with the mentioned boyfriend. But this in itself would unravel a whole different kind of drama. Baby. No. Man, Cortez is bringing the car back. I got a car shoplifted it. $20 worth of stuff at Walmart. I got the money. I need some money. Please, can you get somebody to come bomb me out ASAP, baby, please? <laughs> baby, please, I don't have nobody. And Cortez been to turn his back on me, and I know he is. Please, babe. What, 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 Um, it's a petty theft, right? Hey, bud. You hear me? Yo. Hey, this is Officer Cortez with the Ocala Police Department. I, first of all, no relation to the other guys she's talking about, all right? Okay. Um, second of all, so she got arrested for uh, petty theft, uh, so she's going to be at the Marion County Jail. Funny coincidence that the officer had the same name as the guy waiting in the parking lot. But all of a sudden, there's a third guy in the picture, and the woman's two-timing ways become clear. She clearly likes to push the limits in all areas of her life. So is this your boyfriend or the other guy's your boyfriend? You got two boyfriends. No, it's not like that. So who's Cortez? Cortez is um, a next boyfriend that treats me like So why are you with him? But I, I needed him to drive. I don't drive because I, I don't have a license. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I got you. Double dipping. you very much. You're welcome. I got it. Just walk to that door. To that door to the left. And, and, and you said I'll be able to get the numbers? Yep. Even the cop finds this situation amusing. And it's been a while since we dealt with a shoplifter who had so much crazy stuff going on. What do you think? Do you think this woman's going to learn from this unpleasant encounter? Or will she continue with her thieving ways? She was charged with petty theft, second offense, had to serve 22 days, and received an order to pay restitution. The holidays are a time to spend with your family, but unfortunately for the cops, the holidays are usually the time when the craziest criminals come out of the woodwork. During Easter of 2023, the police were called to the Walmart in response to a shoplifter who was blatantly opening packages and stuffing the merchandise in his pockets. The best thing is, he wasn't even trying to be subtle about it at all. Come here, buddy. I'm not bad. What are you doing? Nothing. All right. Keep your hands out of your pockets for me. Keep your hands out to your side. What have you been doing? You been stuffing something in your pockets? No, wow. What's your name? Jake. Jake what? Why? What did I do? You got stuff in your pockets, right? What did I do? They're, you've been watching on camera. You see all the cameras in here? They're yeah, watching what? you break stuff open and put them in your pockets. Break what open? Well, what do you got in your pockets right here? You got anything that's going to poke me or anything? No. What's this? Socks. Are these yours? Yeah, they're mine. Yeah? What else you got? What about this belt? Why does it still got the tag on it? Now that comes with the tag. 
Come on. Come the tag. You're supposed to take. You don't take the tag off. No, that don't come off. Clearly, this stupid shoplifter must have missed a few lessons on common sense, since keeping tags on clothes is not something literally anyone does, and the cops saw right through him. Treating the cops like they're stupid definitely isn't going to get you very far, but things were going to get much worse very soon. Does that make sense? Because right now you're committing, you committed a crime, right? Yeah. Okay, so that can mess up your probation you go back to jail. Right. And do we want to do that, or do we want to handle this the right way like men? Uh, I, I, I was already handling that. Oh, just don't lie to me. I don't want to be lied to. Okay, my number one thing in life is don't lie to me. Because I know the truth. Why and here's the other thing. There's cameras literally every square inch of this freaking place. So they've been watching you from the time you walked in the store and how you've been walking around and stuffing stuff in your pockets. So you are on camera. Huh? We are we not stopping you just by like accident. Yeah. This is because we know what we're doing. Are you on anything right now? You've been smoking I see you got a blunt in your back pocket. Is that what's that from? What? Yeah, you got like a like a special sweet in your back pocket. Where? It must have been quite a shocker for this guy to realize he was being filmed from the very start. And right away, the cop makes it clear that he isn't about to tolerate any nonsense. If the suspect had just listened here, his holiday would have played out a lot differently. That's the other part. That's the other part. They're holding up traffic. On I, no, 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 I bought that. Hey, hey, I bought that. Check it out. We're going to check out the, the, the packages in the office. See what we got. Yeah, you're gonna gonna check the your office. Office. No, that charge was mine. Okay. We're going to check in the office. Huh? We're going to check in the office. Bro, that charge was okay, mine. What is we'll, you talking we'll about? Hey, nah, we'll, he trying to he trying we'll, to take my stuff. We told you what we're going to do. We're going to check that, in I, the office. I know that, but like... Okay, but you need to calm down. Okay, nah, we're, we're trying not to make it too big of a scene here. Alright, right, let me calm okay. down now. Because it's a holiday, right? And I don't want to disturb everybody on our holiday. Okay, it's Easter, right? Yeah. The shoplifter's incredibly bad attitude is almost laughable, but for some reason, the fact that it's a holiday gets him to calm down a little. It does seem like he's trying extra hard to give the cops a bad time, though. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'll do it, I'll do it, I'll do it. No, you're good, man. No, I'm gay. that's gay as It's not gay, dude. Relax. It is gay, folks. Relax. Stop touching my bro. No one's touching your bro. bro. We're all men here. Bro. Act like a man. Act like, like a man. You touching my that's No one even came shit. close to your I'm getting no Don't feel shit and I won't have to do this. Uh, Fuck. Maybe you should know my situation. Just watch yourself or else I'll take you to jail right now. Why, man? Why you, gotta, why you gotta, gotta act like the bad cop, man? What's your address? What? You just keeping it cool and cool, huh? I'm just trying to handle business, man. Here's where the drama really starts. And for some reason, when the cops start trying to remove the stolen merchandise off the man, he starts completely freaking out, accusing the cops of being gay. This is a far reach by any means, and it's definitely not gonna get the suspect a free pass like he'd hoped for. What you're doing is, is not right. It's, it's breaking the law, right? Yeah. So we shouldn't be doing that stuff. But I don't break the law just for no reason. I break the law to... Well, the stuff you took is not stuff that people need. It's not food, water, anything that has sustained life. It's just because you wanted it. Taking four phone cases, a phone charger, need. those are not things that, we, that people need to survive. So if it was like you were taking clothes, food, water, stuff like that, I then took, I can understand it. I, I took clothes, clothes. You took some socks, yeah. Yeah, which I don't got. I don't know if this is one of them. No, that's my phone. Because it looks brand new. Oh no, that's my case. It's a good one. Yeah. I don't know where, the, where it is if y'all can find it. Y'all trying to pat my pocket? How old are you? 18. You can't argue with the logic of the police officer. And considering that the shoplifter is only 18 years old, we can't help but wonder how he ended up on such a bad life path so early on. Turns out, we won't be the only ones asking this question. What do you mean? You like playing games. What, what is, you like what playing is, around. What is that game that I'm playing? So you go to jail because you got a warrant. I got a warrant right now? Yep. Bro, how? Because you have a warrant. I don't know what you want me to tell you. Can I at least call somebody, hit the phone? We'll see about it. We'll see what we can do, man. But I got to figure out. I got to confirm in the warrant right now. I ain't have a warrant. We're trying to make sure it's clear. What, what from where? I'm not at the computer, am I? I'm standing next to you. I'm just, so I'm working on it with my partner. I'm just asking a question, you well, dumb you, 
That's that's Fuck your yeah. problem right there. You show no respect, so you get no respect. I'm trying to show you respect, and then you, you haven't shown me any respect. No, you yet. show you. I show. I try to show you respect, and you come aggressive. I'm sorry, you don't like my style. I, I apologize. <laughs> Hey, that was a good comeback. <laughs> Damn, so I'm gonna go to jail. Most likely. It doesn't seem possible that you can have a warrant and not even know about it at all. But playing the fool would not get this suspect anywhere. Out of nowhere, he starts being incredibly rude and quippy with the police, which immediately makes them more annoyed. So right now, that's under under hundred fifty dollars. So that would be a compliance ticket. Wait, you said hundred and fifty dollars? I'm not to pay that. You, what, you, what you're going to get is you're going to get a $150 compliance ticket at this point for this theft. And then you're going to be banned from coming back into any Walmart or Sam's Club. Okay. Any Walmart. Any Walmart, any Sam's wow. Club, you are trespassing wow. banned. Walmart. Because you are coming here and you did a theft. And they don't want that on their property. So what's the difference between stealing 10 things well, than one? It's still going to be a theft and you can never come back? Right. Yeah, they don't. They don't want somebody who's who comes into their store and steals. So and then the other thing that's going to happen is if, if this warrant, if you have a warrant, it's going to come back, and if it's valid, then you'll be arrested under a warrant. And if you can bond out, you'll be out. Can I get my phone so I let somebody know, please? I can call on your phone. We will if if, if you do have a warrant, we'll go down to the city jail, and you'll be able to make a phone call when we get down there. I'm trying to make a phone call. No, I don't. That's, I'm sorry, that's, that's not, how, that's not yep. how our policy and procedure works. The suspect clearly is not the sharpest pencil in the toolbox, since he doesn't seem to get the concept of being trespassed. If he knows what's good for him, he definitely won't set foot in a Walmart or Sam's Club again. What's all these socks in here? What? I'm not gonna, do, you want, do I need to undress you, man? Or can we do this like adults? Because I can feel all the socks in your pants. So I, need to, I, I need to get unhooked to help y'all. Why, why do you have stuff down here? Cause, bro, that's where it was. That's where it was? Yeah, man. Okay. There seems to be no end to this man's shoplifting escapade. And even now, the cops keep on discovering new stashes of stolen items hidden inside this man's clothes and even his pants. The nerve of such an incredibly big steal is quite unbelievable. And he was stupid enough to think he'd actually get away with it. Well, who are you hanging out with? Nobody. I'm so well, how'd you get down this down this bad path that leads your life right now? You're 18 years old. I'm not. I'm not. To be honest, if you tell me, for I'm not on no, not on no wrong path. Okay. Yeah, I mean, just the image. I, I, I'm 36 I look like. and I've never been arrested. I've never been. I've only been stopped by the cops once, and that was for a window tint. Like so, there's choices we make every day of our life on how we want to live. So we can either go left towards the shit, or we can go right and make the right decision. And then there's gonna be another decision right there. So it sounds like you made a lot of the left decisions going down the bad path. So like, I've never had to hide in bushes to not be killed by somebody. These guys are professionals. What, these three right here? The cop takes time out of his day to give the young shoplifter a bit of advice that might give him a different perspective and help him make better choices for his future. But judging by his nasty attitude, we doubt this is making any sort of impact. It's not okay when it comes to tobacco? Uh -huh. It's not okay when it comes to you needing your tobacco? I worked in that store for three years. That, that store, that was my store. It was so dead. What are you doing, bro? Hey. Me? Yeah. We're not doing that. Can't do that? No, you're hand, you're handcuffed behind your back for a reason, bro. You know that? <laughs> You've been handcuffed before. Hey, gang, you know the police was made just to catch black people? How are you the police, bro? The suspect can't even go a few minutes without taking a pull of his vape. And since he's in handcuffs, he has to rely on the cop he just badmouthed for help. And we're not even going to get into his ridiculous statement about why police were created. This is yet another snippet straight out of Crazy Town. Are uh, you got anything else on you? I'm going to take down my phone. Hell the Do not take down my Relax. Do not think that my Relax. pants. Relax. You want to get another charge? Do not think that my pants. You talking about? You not gonna be touching my. You want to keep playing, bro? Bro, do not think of my pants. You got your pants. I will get it. That's get not what we do. Get the off of you. Calm nigga. down. No, I will grab it for your. No, you need to act like a damn adult right now. Got it? You grabbing in my. No one's grabbing. You your grabbing in my. Calm down, show no. respect. No, I can't show respect when you grab my No one's grabbing my booty. your Upon being searched, the man breaks out into complete hysterics. 
It takes a while to restrain him, and it seems like his mad tantrum was triggered completely out of nowhere. Being searched is a standard part of being arrested, and maybe this shoplifter should have taken that into consideration before going on a free-for-all shopping spree. Bro, you just put some gloves on and about to stick your finger up my is I'm that, not for I'm that. sorry that you think that, bud, but do you have a bad reality, okay? That's not what I was doing. You have merchandise Man, in your pants and I'm trying to get most of these it. police is doing that, boy. What's okay, you talking about? Then I'm sorry you that ain't none different. You, need you to ain't none different. You I'm talking about you think I'll search him at the jail. Alright. Ow. Get your... Sit up. You can't even sit up because you want to push me and shit. Shut up. Well, you wanted to fight. Can you please let go of my legs? Stand up. Hey, they harassing me! Hey, they arresting me! Right, hey, get these right. they arresting me! Why do you want to keep playing the game, dude? Oh, fuck Now you got a felony. Now you got Go hit my camera. Now you got a felony, bud. Act like a goddamn adult. I can't sit up when you hit me on my You head. just kicked me. So what are you expect me to do? Because you keep on trying to stick your ass up my No one was doing that. We were sitting you in the car like a goddamn man. This suspect has some seriously twisted ideas of what the police do, and we can't even imagine how he came to these conclusions. He's making a huge scene at this stage, and he probably didn't realize this, but no one's gonna disobey the cops and come to his aid, no matter how much he screams and shouts. I ain't got my phone, can you please at least go back and get my phone? Bro, that's bogus to say, I should beat the out of your with your wife. Boy, your wife's probably a racist too. Goofy shit around me. You act like I'm a real threat. You act like I'm killing out here. That's real that's actually nailing and you worry about a bum. You worry about a that's stealing. You the How much money you gonna make off this? Nothing. I right, you too then since you wanna answer you. Uh, I don't know why you choose this job. All my gonna do is treat your Man, you the bitch, man. Why can't you just answer a simple question, you hoe? You, you just like the rest of the cops, man. Talking about give me respect, I'll give you. You don't do disrespect. For you think I'm gonna swing at you? Yeah. I'm gonna be All right, all right, all right, all right. Gang, gang, gang. Why the did you so aggressive? Get the up off me. Ah! Accusing the cops of being aggressive is quite rich, considering how the suspect is carrying on. And if there's anyone who needs help managing their aggression and anger, it's him. No one acts this crazy with the cops and gets away with it. The reckless bravado of threatening the cops so openly is quite shocking as well. And he even slipped out of his cuffs. Damn! Relax, bro. No, f you! Y'all using all this goddamn force! You see how scrawny I am? They're gonna break a bone in this. I get you. You say you'll get me? I said I get you. I understand what you're saying, but oh, I was gonna say I was gonna overly tee up. Let talk to me wrong. I got nothing to lose, boy. I got no daddy, no mommy, no brother, no no sister. Come on, I'm ready. Come on. Y'all last got me in shackles like I'm a Shug Knight in this. It's funny how the suspect is acting all big and tough one moment, and the next he's complaining about being so scrawny he can't even be touched. Talk about giving the cops an absolutely impossible time doing their job. Thankfully, he was quickly transported to jail and charged. The man was charged with retail theft and aggravated assault on a peace officer. These criminals sure do make for some entertaining police work. And there's no need to stop now, so be sure to check out our other crazy cop videos floating on screen.